The Creighton community hits the baseball diamond to remember a fellow Blue Jay. Chris Gradeville was shot to death as he went to remodel a home. It happened near 62nd and Pratt last September. The 37 year old was the volunteer director of baseball operations. He's lo his loved ones are keeping his memory alive through a summer camp. KETV Newswatch 7's Kaylee Searcy was there today as the first pitch was thrown. Bats in hand, cleats laced up learning what it takes to become a pro baseball player. Same thing applies as a, as a catcher. We want to be aggressive. Through the memory of a former coach, player, and husband. They're going to learn about the legacy and, and who Chris Gradoville was, how he played the game. With the first ever Chris Gradoville Gratitude Baseball Camp. And what better way to spread, spread Chris's message than through baseball? Learning the ins and outs of the baseball diamond. Learn the fundamentals of baseball, pitching, catching, hitting outfield, infield. But more than anything, teaching them who Chris was as a person on and off the field. Kind, caring, compassionate, would do anything thing for anyone. Former teammate Pat Vendetti says Chris drew him to the game playing together at Creighton before the big leagues. That connection to baseball, Chris and Chris is uh, very deep in that connection I have with the game. We were teammates on campus for three years and developed a special connection. He was my catcher. Trying to instill that same connection into the kids. Baseball is one thing, but how he treated uh, everyone the exact same. I mean, loved on everyone. Um, treated them with the utmost respect no matter who it was, where they came from, their background, everything like that. Becoming less about the game and more about the relationships you build with your team and your community. If we treat everyone the exact same, you know, we're going to get, you know, kids respecting not only the game but respecting each other in a more and a higher level. Katie Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7.